is Linda Kurtz. I work in Marietta City Schools, Dunlath Elementary. I'm the Science Lab Coordinator, 21st Century Lab Learning Coordinator. Anything with science and technology is what I do for third, fourth, and fifth grade. So we really built up the story. We did a fun reading first. So we've been reading, Lorato Cooks Up a Plan. If you guys would follow with your finger while I read out loud. Once we figured out which materials worked best, we drew up a plan. What word was that? Plan. Plan. And then created our design. Finally, we tried to improve the... Can somebody help me with that word? Insulation. By adding more material to the box. You did exactly what real engineers do, Sawani said. You use the engineering design process. Can we say that together? Engineering, engineering design, design process, process. To help us design a thermal insulator for the solar oven. So then we started breaking down, especially the vocabulary, chapter by chapter, and did lots of activities um, with pictures, words, um, a lot of vocabulary word study. And as they learned more about the vocabulary words, they got really invested with the characters in the story. Do you guys want to talk about some of the chapters that we read? On pages 19 and 20, Soane talks about metal as a thermal conductor and the thick mud walls of the Rondavel as a thermal insulator. So we asked, what does a thermal insulator do? And Henry, you said thermal insulators are like a jacket? Yeah, I kind of like a jacket. They, they make you like warm, like kind of warm. Inside the jacket, it, it traps the heat inside. Okay, so it traps it inside, doesn't let that heat. Is it colder outside when you wear a jacket? So it stops that body heat from going from your warm body out to the colder air. Um, the storybook helped them put it in a context that they could relate to. It was It's about children and children solving real world problems and how they use the engineering design process to go about that. And that's something they really identified with. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go back in the story and try to find evidence of each step of the engineering design process. The directions are to write or draw a picture explaining how Lorato completed each step of the engineering design process. And we've talked about some evidence that you found in the book about where each step happened. So when we're talking about the ask step, when Lorato asked, what is the problem? What have others done? What are my constraints? She asked some of those questions. Does anybody know where that was? On Maybe page 12. Before. On it page says, 12? How much energy is used and whether pollution, wasted, or waste, those things give us clues about whether something is green technology, the life of technology. Okay, so she's asking. That's evidence that you could show me of the ask step. They were asking questions about green engineering and thermal insulators. Does everybody agree? That's what you guys found as the ask step? I agree. I agree. I think you did a good job. And so can anybody tell me what you do on the plan step? Um, it's like when you draw a, do a diagram, like to make a list of materials that you need. Yeah, and I saved um, Donna and, and Camilla's diagram. Remember when we did the stand for the statue? Yes. They built their their stand exactly from the diagram. And how did that turn out? In the, what do you mean? Like, what criteria. happened? Did it meet all the criteria? Yes. Yes. Yeah, so they were successful with their diagram. All right, now we're looking for the improved step. Who can tell me what the improved step is? Yes. And so when you try it out, and if it works, you did it right. If it doesn't work, you did it wrong. Okay. Um, is it okay if something's wrong? Yes. Yeah, it's okay. What do you What do you do if something if something is wrong? If it doesn't work? You could try it again. Yeah, you can try again, and you're gonna make it. You're gonna keep on. Getting better at it. Yeah, you're going to keep improving and making it better and better and better. Oh, I love how you said that. They started asking questions, really good questions, and things that I couldn't answer. So we went on the resources page on the Engineering is Elementary website, and we found a Nata village blog. The Nata is a village in Botswana where the story takes place. And there was a Peace Corps worker there, so we ended up contacting the Peace Corps worker, and she was able to Skype with the kids and answer a lot of their questions. They are very invested in their solar ovens and making them, and they're going to send them to Botswana when they're done. So they want to make a really good solar oven. 